So welcome to the channel. Today we are going to learn how to create custom report in a GA4. In this video, you will also learn how to filter a specific campaign and how to pull the data as well as how to analyze the performance of that campaign. So first, this is how the interface of Google Analytics 4 look like. Just go to the left hand side and go to the explore tab. So once you are here, just click on a blank slide here. So this is how the dashboard of a uh, custom report will look like. Give the report name I'm giving at a GA4. And select the date range for which you want to report. So I'm selecting the look back window of like, let's say last 30 days and just click on apply. So once you select the date range, now it's time to select dimensions and metrics. Now I want to filter the specific campaigns. So in the dimension, I want a campaign names. So just click on plus icon here and just search for session campaign. Just select session campaign and I'm also selecting session source and medium as we will need to filter by source and medium as well. So once dimensions are selected, now it's time to select the metrics. So just click on plus here and just search for the metrics that we want. So I'm searching for a purchase so select the purchase. I'm also selecting purchase revenue. I also need a sessions. So I'm also selecting sessions. I also want to look into like bounce rate, average session duration. And I also want to look into number of add to cards I'm getting through the campaigns. I'm also selecting the, those metrics. And so I will also select checkout. So once all the metrics are selected, so you can see here, select metrics that is we have selected seven metrics out of 173 and just click on confirm. So you can see here all the metrics got imported here. So our set, our dimensions are here and our metrics are here. So now it's time to select the dimensions and metrics. So under the rows, we will need to select the dimensions. So there are two ways to select either you can click here and select or what you do just drag and drop here. So I've just selected the session campaign here and under the values, you will need to select the metrics. So I'm just selecting the metrics. So I'm just selecting the purchase, purchase revenue and sessions. And I, I will also add like pounds rate and average session duration. So we can see here in session campaigns like random data is appearing, but we want to filter specific campaigns. So what I will do is just under the filters, we will need to implement the filters. So I will be filtering a Google campaigns. So just click on plus here and just select session source and medium. So here I will need to select exactly matches. So our condition is session source and medium exactly matches. Just search for the Google CPC. So Google CPC. If, if you are running a Facebook campaigns, your like source and medium will be like different, like whatever you have used in UTM parameters. So I want to look into Google. So I'm just selecting Google CPC. So just apply the filters. So you can see still like different Google campaigns are visible here. But now I want to only filter evergreen campaigns that we, we ran last month. So what I will do is just click here plus and apply the filter session campaign. Our condition is session campaign contains evergreen. So just evergreen campaigns will be filtered. So you can see here only the Google campaigns that contains evergreen are filtered and we can, you can look into the performance. We got like 5,591 sessions. We got 77 purchase through Pmax campaign and uh, over $7,000 revenue. As well as you can see the bounce rate and average session duration of that campaign. This specific report helps us to understand like number of sessions we got, how was the performance in terms of purchase and revenue. Also, it gives an idea about how was the quality of the traffic that came on our website, like what was the bounce rate to that particular campaign as well as how much time the uh, users spent. This we can understand using average session per duration. So now I want to analyze what are the countries from which I got orders. So what I will do is I will just duplicate this specific view and just rename it as a country. And as I want to look into the country as a dimension, what I will need to do is I will just search for the country. So I'm just searching for country. So just select it and confirm. So under dimensions, 
Now instead of session campaigns, we will need to select the countries because we want to analyze the countries from which we got orders. So once we select the dimension as a country, so, st so see still we have same campaign filtered and we can see the performance of the campaign across countries. So you can see here United States was the top performing market with a revenue over $6,000 followed by Canada and Taiwan. Similarly, if you want to look into the performance across operating system or a device, just duplicate this specific campaign. Just give the name as a device or OS. And if you want to look into OS, then we will need to add a dimension as a OS operating system. And just confirm. And here instead of country, we will need to select operating system. So you can see here the breakdown of the campaign performance as per the operating system like Android users got us the most of the revenue followed by iOS and Windows. So if you want to download this specific report or share this specific report, you can do so by clicking on this plus button and for a download, you, you can find the download option here as I'm using the demo version of Google Analytics here, the download option is not available. But if you are using your personal Google Analytics account, the download option should be visible here. So if you find this video useful, do like, comment, share and subscribe.